Hi, Miss Eglin here with Middle School Language Arts. Today I'm going to show you how to get on to a new website I wanted to start using called Edpuzzle. And to do that, you would get into your Microsoft 365 account and you would check your Outlook email. So I'm going to type in Greensburg Salem and then I would just click on the school website. I would go down here to my Office 365 account and then I would click on Outlook. It's going to go step by step so everybody's on the same page. I'm going to find an email from me called Edpuzzle. If you can't find the email for some reason, um, there's an other folder that some people have been getting my emails in um, or for some reason check your deleted um, emails and they possibly could be under deleted items okay if not just click on the email from me okay and you'll see there is an attachment okay and I you'll see why I made an attachment so I would download the attachment okay and for some reason it's making me open all my attachments on um, my desktop which is really annoying I don't know why that's happening so I'm gonna still open this document okay and you'll see this is what the document looks like I will also have paper copies and I can throw this up on the screen so people can see it okay so the first thing you're gonna do it says Ed Puzzle Directions find your click nice um, let me change that find your Find your class below to access Ed Puzzle. Okay, so let's say I'm in period one. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this code here. I'm going to highlight it and then hit Control C. And then I'm going to go to this link and I'm going to click Control Click and it should take me to the website. The directions are below for you. Um, I just added screenshots though so you could see what to do in case you're not watching this video. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is hit sign up. Okay, and you want to sign up with Edpuzzle. Okay, so now you're going to make a name. I'm going to be student sample and my username is going to be GSMS student sample. Okay, that's so no one else has that username. And then my password's going to be Lions2020. Okay, Lions2020, and I'm going to put join class. If you deviate from that, I will not be able to help you if you um, lose your password or get your username so just do it exactly like I did it so we are all on the same page okay so you will see um, now it says do assignments bargain ignore this um, this is something I was just playing around with um, when we were doing the story bargain um, but this is what we're gonna do it has no due date and it is a TDA strategies video and it says by Miss Eglin, I did not make this, somebody else did. I'm in the process of figuring out how I can start creating these to embed questions into my YouTube videos, which is the whole point of doing this. So this is just a sample um, citing TDA evidence, and it's pretty cool. Okay, so it's pretty nice because there is instruction and then you will get a question based on that, okay? So just go through the video and then when you reach the question, answer it. Okay, so once you're ready for the question, they'll actually be 
right here okay so this would be based on what you see not what you've seen on the screen and what you've heard and then you're going to submit an answer okay and then it will tell you if it's correct and what your score is okay and you can rewatch you can go back um, however I do not believe you can skip forward which is good because we don't want you to skip all the instruction and just randomly click through answers not that anybody would ever do that just throwing that out there but you want to go through the lesson as thoroughly as you can so you can actually do the task in real life perhaps even tomorrow or today so if you have any questions email those to me and let me know what you think of this new website it's actually not new but new to us called edpuzzle okay thank you very much for watching hit the thumbs up if you liked this video and subscribe